going to show you how to download the Atari 2600 emulator called Stella. This is going to be for the Windows operating system using our website, freeemulator.com. Click Windows Atari 2600. Here we go. Stella version 3.9.2. It's the latest version as of this video. Now I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version. You can do the 32 bit version, version if you'd like. Save the file to the hard drive. I already have a folder specified path for it. Save it as soon as it's done. I'm just going to go ahead and close out of Firefox. Open up our folder. Go to Stella. There's an exe file, so we'll double click it. And it's asking me if I trust it. Yes, I trust it. Okay, hit next, 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 next. All the defaults work just fine. Install it, boom, finish, done. Puts all the files in the same folder. Go ahead and run the exe file. Now, I already have configured this before, so it's going to have some different things here than yours probably will, but I'll show you how to get it to look like this. Go to Options, Video Settings. And here you can choose your renderer. You can either do software or open GPL. Software is default, works fine for me. Full screen, you can set it to on, off, or never. I'm not going to go full screen, so I'll leave it to off. The TIA filter, just how zoomed in, how big your window is, two times, three times, four times, five times. For my 1080p monitor, four times looks pretty good. You can choose, you can change the palette if you want to make the colors look different. Standard works fine for me. Um, full screen resolution, tons of options. My, Monitor goes to 1080p, so that's the highest it can go. And yeah, that's about it in video. Now we'll go to audio settings. You can change the volume here if you want. The sample size, frequency, I mean, audio sounds in Atari are mostly blips that have to be super high quality, so the default 31400 hertz is just fine, I think. Make sure it's enabled. Okay, go into our. Um, Settings here, you can control all your different paddles, joysticks, whatever, tons of options. Um, the default you want to make sure you know is your reset is F2. Anytime a game loads, it'll have a little title screen, kind of like a splash screen, you have to F2 to actually play it. Then the other keys you need to know, they're your arrow keys on your keyboard, control, left, right, up, down, space is your, your main trigger button. Um, some games that will use the mouse um, to move your uh, characters around your left mouse click also does the trigger for it uh, we'll go down here real quick to game properties whenever you have a game highlighted to tell you the name of the game the year the manufacturer the model console controller is a big thing if you're looking to set you know the game pad or whatever to use this will tell you if you're using the joystick the paddle all that good stuff display has a couple different options as well Hit OK there. We'll go to Configure Paths here is where you can set your ROM path. So it'll actually show the ROMs in the main screen like I have. You can click it, just go up, specify it, hit OK, and boom, and show all your, your ROMs. So that's about it. We'll exit the menu there. And then we'll go ahead and just run ET, the world's worst game ever. And then you'll get to see how it loads up. So there you go. You can move the window around if you want. That's about it. Um, one thing real quick about freeemulator.com. We don't host any ROMs. We only host emulators. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave us a comment.